Yeah, I thought, uh, you know, I, I thought I didn't mind our game at all. Uh, you know, first period was kind of back and forth. They had a little bit more speed than we did to, to start the game. And then I thought uh, as we got the game back to 2-2, I liked their game. We had good energy. I changed the lines up a little bit. And I thought we had some good flow. Then we kind of gave up a... You know, I didn't like. I didn't like. I didn't like all the goals we gave up tonight. We made mistakes, but give them credit for uh, for exposing us a little bit. But you know, our power play was excellent. We scored some big power play goals, but we didn't score anything five on five. For us, um, you know, we, we pushed at moments. I thought we had more urgency in our game in the third period consistently. But you got to have some of that urgency. And it just can't be six guys every night. It's got to be twelve. And we're not getting enough from our bottom six to uh, keep us in games five on five. And and. You know, we're running a lot of our guys on the power play. They were 14 minutes in the power play. And, you know, we're going to we're gonna see the difference tomorrow night or tomorrow afternoon. But for us, it's just uh, we need more. We're, we're a little thin in areas, and especially our back end. And we're taxing a lot of guys, especially Gleason and, and Heatherton. And, and I think it's going to be tough on them tomorrow. And uh, Gleason might have a lower body injury here. We'll find out as we move along. But uh, we just need guys to step up, keep it simple, and then manage the waters here and then tell... You know, we get healthy until Dallas gets healthy and, and uh, until we can, you know, get a stronger lineup back on the ice. I'm not asking you to pin on anyone, but you mentioned you didn't like the goal. Is there anything in particular that was just not working tonight for those? Well, you know what, they're just, just on the first goal, um, it was a lazy back check through the dots. Um, and uh, Denny went running to the puck instead of support in the middle of the ice. Now that ends up in your net. Uh, on the second goal... Well, I got to go back and think here. The second goal was just at the end of a power play uh, down in the, in, you know, uh, I, I would like to see Phil save that. Uh, third goal was a, just the D zone coverage where Marky went with his guy. Sam didn't go with his guy. He deflected it, went bar down. So it changed angles pretty quick. Uh, it beat Phil. And then on the third goal, or the power play goal, Hanson's got to have the back door. And those are just little mental breakdowns where you get to the end of the penalty kill, you got to close it out, and you got to survive until you can get your lines back together and get through it. Uh, we seem to make mistakes here defensively and pay the price for it, probably our last three weeks. And that's a sign of a young team and a team that's just trying to find its way a little bit, especially with a young back end. Um, you look at their back end, they got a pretty veteran group. So for us, uh, we got to just fight through it and manage it. You know, could we have tied the game up tonight? Yeah. I thought we had a good push in the third period. Could we have won the game? Probably, yeah. But you got to give Huso good credit. He's had a real rough year. I think he was 1-9 until tonight. And I thought he did a good job just uh, holding the fort for him. I felt like the team in the building came alive after Connor's second goal there. You guys had a really good push with some of the – even the next uh, shift was – Well, the power play before that was sloppy. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I challenged the guys on the ice to be have better execution, especially because this is – the game's on the line if we don't score here. And I thought the guys did a good job of just staying with it, getting pucks net and finding a rebound on the goal. And, you know, in today's game, guys defend so well in the penalty kill. They block shots. They get in front of everything. You have to try and get second chance opportunities in the power play. And that's what we did tonight. So we changed it up a little bit from last night. We put Condor on that first unit. And uh, he rewarded us uh, greatly. So we got to pick ourselves up here and get ready for tomorrow night. Uh, we played a little bit better tonight. Um, they're a big team. They play a structured game. And... Uh, they took advantage of the chances they had on our uh, defensive zone, um, and we weren't able to get the win tonight. Uh, but like I said, it's a, a little step in the right direction. Coach mentioned he added you to the first power play unit uh, this past weekend here. What, what's working well for you guys as a unit? Uh, tonight we just got shots and rebounds, to be honest. Uh, there was nothing special. They, they were in tight, and um, last night we didn't really generate much, so we wanted to get the puck more than that, and we uh, were able to clean up some rebounds. It, it felt like the uh, things were a little quiet there in the third period, so you scored your goal. Talk about the energy that kind of added to the game, to the building. Yeah, you're down two goals, and it can go either way. You know, one one, one way, and it shuts the game down. One the other way, and it, it becomes a game again. So, um we ended up getting one on the power play there, and uh, it gives you some juice and some life to try and tie it up. Obviously, you guys, uh, third game, always tired legs, but lots of injuries and, and folks, lots of minutes. How do you kind of get ready for that game tomorrow, knowing that? Well, they played the same way, and uh, it's, when, it's, it's like a playoff series, three and three, when you play the same team. It's a little bit weird, but, uh, you know, They've won the first two games, so we should be a little bit upset and we should have a little bit of grit and want uh, this third one, so we'll see what happens.